And he, I actually raced against this guy when he was riding for Jayco. He wouldn't have seen it because I was down in the back getting dropped pretty quickly. He was the 1990 World Points Race Champion, Steve McLeod. You might have seen him when you lapped us, Steve. He was going, going past a little bit too quickly. In 1993, it was a great year for Australian cycling in the World Championships. Multiple world champion that year in the sprint and also in the Kieran. Rode for the same club I rode with, the Northwood Cycling Club. Gary Newon, good to have you in Australia. And 1993 also saw Australia win the team's pursuit. Fred Aitken was in the team, so too was Stuart O'Grady. We've got two of those riders with us tonight. Billy Joe Shearsby and Tim O'Shaughnessy. I believe that she's on the end of her camera normally for the last couple of weeks, but Kathy Watt, is she in the house with us? Not sure that she is, but she certainly caught everybody's attention in 1992 when she won the Olympic Games gold medal, as much for her hair as anything else with the long bleach that went through it. So Kathy, can't spot you in the room, but welcome anyway, you're in, in here somewhere. And the bottom of the list, we've got Gary Sutton, but he's in the centre coach, and he's got a fair bit on his mind at the moment with the Australians racing. One rider that wasn't initially put on the list because he was at the top of the previous page because he's one of the greats of Australian cycling, the first Australian to wear the yellow jersey at the Tour de France, Phil Anderson. <laughs> I almost forgot the guy that sits in commentary with me on SBS for the coverage. Olympic Games gold medalist in the first ever Madison and keeps whinging about the fact that it's no longer at the Olympic Games, Scott McGrory. As I'm sure most of you would appreciate, the SBS crew are exhausted because Scott's been up telling stories till 2am. At the moment he's up to October 1994, he's got a fair way to go. The nickname Scott McStory rings true. I'm going to have a chat to a man that's won four world titles, three of them in the kilo, one in the team sprint. I'd like to welcome Shane Kelly up to the stage. Good night last night with the, the one kilometre. Did you enjoy that? With the German getting up, defending the title? Yeah, I did. I, I missed the warm up, so I couldn't actually start. But uh, yeah, I think there was five or six going in the one minute um, area. So, uh, Nimke, our first race in Racing in 1971, so world champs many years ago. Uh, yeah, he hasn't got the finish style, but he looked fantastic. What about another guy you used to go head to head with, Chris Hoyt? In the Repid charge. He had to go to the repid charge as the five in the sprint. What do you make of that? Well, he's made that mistake before he was European champs. Um, he actually got eliminated in the first round, so he's got to be careful not to you know, make a mistake. But he's always got to be on the ball. He's you know, always someone there that wants to you know, take, him off, you know, take the title off him. And, um, Scotty McGrory was saying he rode you know, these huge gears on the 115 and qualification, so times have changed. Say we went downhill from King Lake, I don't think I rode 115. What about the, the amount of guys inside 10 seconds was extraordinary. How much quicker is it, you think, than even four years ago? Well, oh, jeez, 10 under 10 seconds, you, know, you just look at the, uh, the qualification you know, in the record books. You go back 5, 10, 10 years, and you know, you're you know, in 10, 5, you're, uh, you're okay, but you've just got to now, you've got to nail that, that 200, otherwise you're, uh, yeah, you're going to be out of the uh, out of the race, and um, I think top uh, what we have uh, Scotty Sullivan's 15 qualified in 10 2. That's, yeah, it's just, that says now it's pretty quick. It is quick. What about tonight? We've got Anna Mears racing for the gold medal. She's in the semi final first against Victoria Pendleton. I might be biased, but I cannot see her getting beaten. I think she'll go through in straight sets. No, watching her last night uh, race the Chinese girl as well. Um, she looks so. Just confident, I don't think I've ever seen her so confident. She lined her up and uh, hit her through the you know, turn three and four and did it so easy. So I think, oh, yeah, I can't see her being beaten. I hope that's the way it turns out. Um, hopefully, the crowd gets behind her and, yeah, and yeah, hopefully, it'll continue on for, for London as well. And what about Shane Perkins? Well, I think he'd be right on high, definitely, from uh, the Elvis' team spring win. Um, I'm not sure exactly what he's 9 8, 9 9. 9 8 something, but it was a high 9 8. But as he has a lot of yeah, sprinters in the room uh, tonight, um, 
So I know the deal, it's uh, qualifying is one thing, but actually races and other things, so it's a, it's a different story. Once the heat's starting, um, you know, tactics come into it. Even though it's a little bit different how the drag race style is coming. Um, but Perko is looking good, he probably is as quick as I've seen him, so he's, uh, he's not going to be, uh, yeah, he's not going to be going down without a fight for sure. Back to the, the team sprint, we saw Matthew Glatzer the other night ride the fastest final lap ever of about 12.9 and you won a world title in that with Gary Nee, one of Darren Hill who's, I think, is on his way here, he shouldn't be too far away if he is here, I'm sorry I missed you earlier on Darren. Um, the ride was afternoon by Matthew Glatzer, he got caught out, he ended up getting disqualified in the record charge but he's only 19, how big is his future? He's good for, for track sprinting particularly. Well, yeah, as we said, the team sprint uh, 12.9 um, you know, for the last lap. That's that's absolutely crazy. You know, when I was doing third wheel at 13 and 3, it was probably about as quick as I went, so he nailed me. Um, 9 9 as an 18, 18 year old. It's not bad. I mean, his, his future's going to be huge. And he just looks so uh, not your normal sort of positional uh, look on a bike, but as he gets down and he's aero and he. Uh, he can pump the big gears and he's going fast, so that's what it's about. We've got Glenn O'Shea in the box seat for the Omnium. He currently leads. But let's talk about the Omnium. It's been taken out, or it's been put in, and we've taken out the individual pursuit and the one kilometre time trial of the previous Olympics. I think that's one of the worst decisions that's ever happened in track cycling at the big games. Yeah, well, you know, we've, we've done so well in both those events. Uh, you know, either one gold or silver or bronze many, you know, many, many times. And, um, you know, they say the Omni is like the, you know, the triathlon event, and it's uh, just someone obviously that's good at, good at many of these, so... Um, oh, you didn't make it. No, you're amongst friends. No, I think, I, I think it's a great event, but to have it at Olympic Games, I don't agree with it. Um, I still feel, as I said last night, the kilo should be in there. Madison, definitely, you know, it's been an event that's been around for so many years, and it's a traditional event. Um, and as I said, Kilo is a true event, one chance, and uh, if you stuff it up, uh, it's all over. Like 1996. Yeah, thanks for bringing that up again. I was over. I'm, I'm three for three, I've got the hat tricks over, I've mentioned it every night. Will I get away on Sunday safely? You're quicker than I am. Well, I used to be. No, that's, that's life, you know. It's, I'm, I'm over that, that's how, how it went, and at least I've got a pop star we're all brought in, so it's, it, was, uh, it was okay for that. Well, we've still got the Kieran to come over the next couple of nights as well. Who's your favourite for the men to end the women's? Oh, Kieran, she... Yeah, it's so, it's so open. There's so many guys that are going so quick. Um, it'd be hard to... You know, Hoy, he's got it covered, whether it's a front, middle, or riding to the back, he's got it all covered. But, you know, obviously, Perko reigning world champ. French, the Germans, the Finuki, one up one zero zero kilos. It's so open. I'm, 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 I'm not a betting man, so I'm not going to put any, any, uh, any money on anyone in particular. So I'll, uh, I'll just have to wait and see what, how the, uh, the heat's going. Um, yeah, how, how it pans out. And just finally, to speak a little bit about the room. When I took a look at that batting order, well, that's a pretty impressive list with some of the people in the room. Some of your childhood heroes here, perhaps? Yeah, there's many. There's many of them, actually. Uh, there's quite a few that you mentioned, um, and obviously a lot of my teammates uh, over the years, over on the table, over the back there, and a few over this side here. Uh, Ash Hutchison just walked in as well. Maxie Rainsford up the back there. Uh, the list, the list, they're, they're piling in, so... Mr. Hollywood, well, I used to love it when Max crashed at Northfield. He made it so entertaining. He did, he, uh, he could turn it on. He was playing by Mr. Hollywood, he, he, he knew, knew how to work the crowd. And, um, yeah, I've got the list goes on, there's many chances. Um, I was at a, at a lunch on Tuesday, another jaw lunch, and uh, the room was full of uh, legends. And, um, yeah, to be in, in amongst guys that, you know, not, not just Olympic champs, world champs, they were just champion blokes, you know, club riders, they just felt great blokes. And, um, the stories have been told from, you know, guys riding in the 50s and 60s and 70s, uh, I think something needs to be heard, so I think, yeah, we need guys like that to, to, uh, yeah, to chat to and maybe uh, articles with any journals out there, get, get these blokes and you know, go to a Mellow Jean lunch and have a chat with these guys and fantastic stories. Well, you're one of the guys at the top of that list. It's one of the great blokes and one of the great champions. Shane Kelly, four-time world champion. 